Hi, we like to talk about TV films and comics on this channel and today we're going to talk about a Image Books Deluxe edition, The Black Road, The Holy North. The Black Road, The Holy North is a collection of two trades from Image uh, in the deluxe format. Uh, it follows Magnus of Black, a Goliath of a man who is wandering around in the sort of Netherlands area during the conversion period where Christianity is taking over. Um, they are murdering and hunting down pagans who don't convert to Christianity and he's sort of trying to play both sides. He understands that it's inevitable that they're going to take over and thinks he'll just make some money out of it. He's got a tragic past, his family were killed um, and he's just sort of, uh, not nihilistic, but he, he just likes to get what he can while he can. Um, this is a great book because it's got a modern style to it but the art and the story being you know they really just work well together the artwork is great and it totally suits the um, story and the landscape and the sort of emotions they're trying to get across whereas the story of Magnus taking a job to escort a cardinal from the Vatican to, uh, the Black Road, a notorious stretch of road um, where you know you need to have some pretty good security um, or you're going to get robbed and killed um, because he's trying to investigate a rogue cardinal who's trying to set up a sort of second Vatican. Um, he's just you know very interesting and is a good conduit for different scenes to occur and different characters to be met along the way. Um, I'm trying not to spoil it by my description um, because there are twists and turns and you get introduced to characters um, and bits of their backstory and they all work really well together. Um, Supposed to say it's a sort of road trip, not buddy story but just a action thriller um, with a good sense of humour and it's got you know a nice satisfying ending to it. The only problem with the book I would say is that at the very end there seems to be a tacked on issue that I didn't really feel did much but it totally doesn't ruin the book at all. Um, I would recommend buying it in the deluxe format because uh, it reads really well when it's all put together like this. The size of the pages um, really make the art look good. Um, it's got a lovely binding, the cover's great, I'm a sucker for sort of nice things on the cover. It's got this sort of glossy finish to the actual typeface um, with a matte background. Um, and the main character of Magnus is just a good one. You, you want to see more adventures with him. And I'd be quite happy to be honest if they just brought out deluxe books of total full stories with him rather than going down the route sort of trades or single issues because he's a big character and he deserves a big story and a big you know format book to do him justice because he is humongous. Um, it's the kind of story you can see being made into a film if they ever wanted to or maybe a two-part miniseries um, but I'm quite satisfied with um, the book. It's a relatively good buy as well. Um, I'll throw up some current pricing at the time the video is going out on the screen. Um, you say the binding's great, there's zero gutter loss when you're reading it, and the page quality and the print quality are absolutely fine. Um, pick this up before it goes out of print because I don't know how popular it is, and I feel like it's the kind of book that might be I have a run for sort of eight to nine months, and then if it doesn't sell enough, they'll just stop producing it. Um, but the Black Road. Holy North. Um, really um, different and interesting and a fun read. I read it all in one sitting because it was compelling. Um, let me know what you think of it. Do you think that it's more style over substance? Do you, did any of the characters great on you? Um, do you think it's better to have this digitally or in trade? Um, let, let me know. Um, otherwise, please feel free to give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe and thanks for watching.